Hey guys, Greg here with RW Distilling. Hey, listen, I just wanted to uh, show you guys how I make my, my down combers for my uh, my towers. Um, for, for you fabricators out there that, that uh, want to buy these components online, uh, I'm just going to give you a little bit of an um, instructional video on how, how I make these uh, these down combers. Uh, first of all, what you want to make sure you do is, is you want to wear eye protection. Okay, I'm using a, a chop saw to cut my material, and uh, you know it, it cuts it a lot better than the bandsaw, in my opinion, um, especially the bigger pipe. But I'm going to go ahead and use this chop saw. So make sure you guys uh, wear some eye, eye protection for that. Um, this down comber length, this pipe right here is four and a quarter inches long. So let me go ahead and make that cut, and, and we'll try to get, get through this thing, and I'll show you how to do it. Okay. Here, I mean, what, what I do next is, is, is I camphor these these burrs here on the inside and the outside. Um, so, so I do the uh, outside first, and I take that over to my disc sander over here, and um, I just I just remove the burr from it. It's very simple. Okay, I took care of the outside. Now I want to get the inside, and the way I do that is I go over to my grinder. I've got a, a wire wheel on here, and it's got the fine. It's a it's a fine a wire wheel. It's not the coarse. Um, and also, when you go to when you go to turn that on and use that, you definitely want to wear some eye protection for that too. Um, this this does um, some some of these pieces over time do come come loose and they um, end up all over you. So just be careful with that too. So just give me a sec. I'll make. That. Side of this thing's burnt out, so the reason I do that is just so, so when you're cleaning these things and you're taking them apart, you don't you don't get cut trying to clean these things. So so that's that's the uh, four and a quarter inch pipe, and um, I'll show you what we do next. Now this down comber at the bottom of these down combers it has a a splice. I don't know if you can see inside there or not, but there's a splice inside there to allow the fluid when it comes down here to to fill this cup up and expel out of there so we need to make those cuts in there so this is how I do this I take this over to my bandsaw and I'll, I'll pass this thing to my bandsaw the depth of this blade so it's going to be about that deep so let me make my cuts and what I'll do is I'll make my first cut and then I'll turn it a third of the way make another cut and then and then set, uh, split the difference and make my third cut so here we go So that, that's going to allow the, the material to come out of there and expel up over here. So let's go ahead and move over to this edge here, and I'll show you how um, I put the perforated plate and attach that to this section right here. Okay? These perforated plates that I um, I had fabricated, um, you know, they, they were water jetted this five eighths hole, so so they're a little bit tight. Um, so what I do is I'll take it over to my drill press and I'll I'll drill this thing out a little bit to give it a little bit more clearance. So, so it goes on there a little bit easier. Just like that, okay? Now, what I'll do now is I'll take this, this section of pipe again, and I'll actually take a piece of, of this uh, steel wool, and I'll just clean these edges here on both sides, okay? That way the flux has something to uh, actually fasten to, okay? And I'll take this section here, and you want to put, you want to make sure this this uh, cut section is on the bottom, obviously, because because that's where the thing goes. So let me go ahead and get this on there, and I and I give it about a half inch. I eyeball it, and I always make sure it's square. Okay, I look both ways. That's a little off, so I'll, I'll square that up. That looks pretty good that way. That looks pretty good that way. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go ahead and solder that piece right there. Flexing is key. If you want these things to these pieces to adhere with that with that uh, um, lead free solder, you want to definitely flux that properly. Okay. Let me get over here. Okay. So bear with me. And that's it right there. 
what I'll do is I'll take this glove here and put it on, and then I'll take this and, and actually heat it again, just so, that, so I get good coverage on that piece. As you can see, it's on both sides, and I'll drop that in this bucket right here in the water, and that'll cool it off while I'm working on this next piece. Okay, this piece right here, this piece was, was, when you buy this on my site, it's about an inch long. So I've taken this piece right here and I've cut it, cut in about half of the, the, the material off of there to make this, this cup a little bit uh, less deep. Okay, so I'll take this thing over here to this disc sander again and I'll deburr it. Bird that now. And what I'll do is I'll end up taking this uh, this down comber now, and I'm going to show you how I fasten this down comber to this section right here. It's very very simple. Okay, guys. I'll take some flux, put some flux in there in the very bottom. I'll take some flux, and I'll flux the inside of this pipe as well as the outside in the bottom. Okay, because what's going to happen is, is this this uh, solder is going to adhere to these two pieces, okay? Keep the bottom of that cup up, take this, take this uh, lead through solder. What I do is I just fill this cap here. Look inside here, you'll see how I filled that cap with solder. And then what I'll do is I'll come in here and I'll just drop this piece right into it. And then I'll pick this piece up. So I know that I got a, a good connection between the two surfaces. And then I'll take my my water bottle and I'll just fill that section right there. You got a piece that's in here. Okay, I'll stick it in here, pull off, give it a second, come in here, and I'll take my steel wool and I'll clean this this piece up. Okay, so right here. That took me every bit of, what, five minutes to, to make that? So, very simple, guys. Uh, just uh, take a look at my website, rnwdistilling.com. You can buy all these components, or you can, you can buy them as, as one. So, anyway, I appreciate you watching, and uh, check out my site.